So it's leg 36, uh, day one, afternoon actually. Um, uh, I did the start of 30, leg 35 this morning from Russell to Kelso, knocked off 10 miles of that 40 miler. Uh, we'll finish the balance of 30 on Saturday and Sunday morning before the meeting here. You see the grandstand in the background. Uh, and I'm now starting this leg from Kelso to Hexham uh, for their meeting on Friday. I do about 10 miles this afternoon, which will leave me about 55 or so to do over the course of tomorrow. Thursday and first thing on Friday morning uh, ahead as I said they're meeting on Friday for with gorgeous weather great big high pressure part right on top of this part of the world uh, I've got incredibly lucky again it's walk on I thought I was unlikely to be disappointed by the walk from Kelso to Hexham spent the last couple of miles here on the banks of the Tweed below Floors Castle the seat of the Duke of Roxburgh with whom I'm going to be walking on Sunday the last bit into Kelso and it is completely gorgeous. You can already see the colours are just starting to go on the trees. It will be glorious here in a month's time. 36 day two of Kelso to Hexham. Uh, it's another glorious day in, in uh, prospect. You can probably see in the background uh, the fog, which uh, has been quite thick actually early doors, uh, is just lifting, dissipating, burning off. Uh, I've got quite a day of climbing ahead of me over the Cheviots. Uh, and in about four hours time, about 11 miles time, I'm meeting uh, Adam Wharf, good mate, uh, who's going to walk with me this afternoon. So looking forward to that. Uh, but I suspect spectacular views, the order of the day today. Quite a lot of climbing, quite a lot of hot and sweaty work. Uh, but we'll see how we go. Walk on. Leg 36, day two, Musselburgh to, no, not Musselburgh, Kelso to Hexham. Uh, yesterday was a shambles, in all honesty, as anyone who reads my Facebook blog will know. Just equipment, just useless. As Harriet Smiley famously said, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Ran out of battery power in my sat nav, my battery pack didn't work properly, I was wearing the wrong shoes, I didn't take my poles, everything that went wrong did go wrong. Result, I did 20 miles, not 27 or so, which is the plan. So today, slightly under the cosh, got uh, Adam Woff with me today, uh, which is a great uh, pleasure. Uh, local native of these parts, uh, keen uh, horseman, uh, master of hounds, uh, Jack Russell, owner of a number. We've actually only got one here today. Um, and uh, we're going to try and do, well, I'm going to try and do 27, 28 miles today. Uh, Adam made a price of 12 and a half, 13 and a half on his miles. I lifted him at 13 and a half, feel pretty confident there. Uh, terrain wise, it's going to be rather similar to yesterday. Paths um, not particularly high quality on the Pennine Way. Just to give you some idea of where we are, we're on the edge of Kielder Forest, which for those who remember uh, back in the days, uh, the uh, RAC rally always used to start here with Colin McRae and Carlos Sainz and so on. But if, you, if I swing the camera around, you can see where we are. We're in the most glorious, absolutely amazing country on the edge of, on the, edge of the Cheviots. Uh, we're up at about 1300 feet. Uh, the views are sensational, the weather is magnificent, uh, couldn't ask for more really. Uh, we've done about six and a half miles so far, um, just stopped for a uh, pit stop, uh, but fairly shortly it'll be a case of walk on and keep walking for quite a while Within today. Within half a mile of the finish of day three of Kelso to Hexham, it's been a good day, got things back on track after yesterday's pretty poor day. Uh, had a lovely day, walked with Adam Woff the entire day. I just dropped him off actually at the front of his drive about half a mile back and Minty's going to pick me up in about half a mile. I'm going to go back to, there's no pub in his local village, but as he said he has an unlicensed bar uh, full of cold beers. So we're going to go back there for a couple. It's been the most, as you can see weather-wise, it is still as glorious as it was this morning. Uh, it's been a very attractive day not always easy quite a lot of heather kicking around the Pennine walk wasn't always all that straightforward quite a lot of climbing uh, but it's been a really gorgeous day We've done about 24 miles i think it's going to leave me about eight or nine for tomorrow morning but that's fine course walk doesn't start till one we're staying 15 minutes away from where i'm finishing today so we can live with that so for another half mile walk on, but I'm just looking forward to a beer now. Leg 36, day four. Uh, would you believe, click flip up to the sky, we have yet to see a cloud for the third day running. Uh, in the background, you can see the Tyne. 
uh, which I'm returning to, having uh, at the end of July done the Hexham to Newcastle leg along the time, which was simply glorious. I think we're going to have a lovely morning today, about 10 miles from Gunnerton up to Hexham. Uh, and we're having a splendid morning. We is me, of course, and this fellow over here, Mr. Jock Maxwell MacDonald, who no prizes for guessing his country of origin. Uh, Jock I've been staying with and his splendid Mrs. Emma who has fed me like a king, drunk me like a lord and where I've slept like a log uh, for the last uh, uh, couple of nights. Um, Jock is, I've spent many very happy days at Lords with Jock, uh, a great, great sporting aficionado but most particularly cricket and our job this morning is to name the A and B finest international cricket sides since the mid 1970s. And we're currently having, we've agreed, I think, on 10 of the first 11. We're working currently on the uh, number six position. Do we go for another bowler? Do we go? Anyway, uh, it's giving us plenty to talk about as we walk on. Leg 36 from Kelso to Hexham is complete with a very fine posse of supporters. Uh, we've had Tom Skew out. Uh, we've had uh, Aidan Coleman out, we've had Richard McLernan out. It's a gorgeous day. When I came here in July, I said to myself, I really hope when we carry in October, it is a gorgeous day. And my God, it is a gorgeous day. Absolutely fantastic. Great crowd, some half-decent racing, a lovely, lovely day out. Walk on. 